Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Diana and I'm a registered holistic nutritionist. So today we're going to be talking about a very important topic, especially for women and girls. So let's start. So today we're going to be talking about seven harmful and very dangerous habits that you are doing every day without knowing. So number one is stop using hygiene gels for your intimate places. You got me. And I'm not talking about the good ones. I'm talking about the ones from everywhere that you can buy. You can buy in any supermarkets and maybe even in pharmacies. And you think they are very good. And you might also use the shampoo or shower gel to wash your private spots. So without knowing, you don't understand that those gels or other hygiene products, they have very aggressive substances in the composition. And these gels often lead to inflammation and disrupt the microflora. And then you wonder, why do you have a yeast infection or some other bacterial growth or infection down there? Well, the problem is this is the most common for the girls and women to have a bacterial infection and yeast infection. Of course, we have another hundreds of causes. However, this one is so easy to avoid. Just choose the right product. So I'm working on a video to actually show you the best product to use for your body, for your hair, for your face, for your private zones. So just make sure you subscribe so you're not going to lose it and you're going to see the first one. So number two is sleeping with your makeup on. And yeah, don't tell me you never done it. No, you did. And especially when you come from all these fun parties and you are tired, you're just like, whatever, I'm going to do it tomorrow. So let me tell you what happened. So all those layers of makeup, primary, foundation, powder, and highlights, and blushes, and everything, they clog your pores. So your skin cannot breathe. And then you wake up in the morning, it's like, uh, good morning, pimples. Where are you coming from? Well, guess where? From your makeup. And also, let's not forget about it, that all this makeup on us, it's taking all the toxin, keeping it in. And then when you sleep at night, your poor skin can't breathe. It's full of toxin. And of course, you're going to have all this problem. So remember, no matter how tired you are, your beauty and your face comes first. So number three. Forget about it. You know what? Forget about wearing tongues. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Those sexy tongues. So I hope everyone knows that little string between your privates, it's rubbing on your intimate places. So here, welcome inflammation, welcome infections, welcome any lesions that you don't want. So forget about it. Just take a good, nice, cotton underwear. Please do that. So what about number four? This is daily panty liners every day. Do not use them every day. When I was talking about on my Instagram page, a lot, a lot of women start to bombard me with my DMs and saying, it's like, but what we're supposed to do? So some of them were asking me, it's like, Hey, Diana, but what are we supposed to do? Are we supposed to change our underwears a couple of times per day? Because this is everything we can do for now. My dear, if you have a problem and you need to change your underwears a couple of times per day, then you have a health problem. So book a consultation and let's see why you can't avoid wearing those every single day. This is not so healthy and convenient like you thought. Plus, by not using daily liners, you avoid creating a greenhouse effect that harms the delicate microflora of your vagina, which can lead to various omens, health issue, and infection. So yeah, lose it. Don't use it. 
Number five. So I suggest not to use high heels. However, we all love high heels. Come on, who doesn't like high heels? So if you have to use it, I suggest and recommend to use it only two hours per day. Why is that? So why is not good? First, is not good for your spine and can cause back and tailbone pain. It also puts a pressure on your blood vessels on lower extremity. By the way, if you don't want to suffer from pain and promote the development of bunion, you know, that little one bump on your big toe, you should avoid high heels. So like I said, you can avoid it. But if you can't avoid it, because we all so love it, I suggest if you have to make an impression or if you want to be sexy or if you want to look good, use it for two hours max and don't always have a spare shoes with you. Just in case. You never know. Avoid it. You can do it. Number six. Number six is very interesting. Avoid eating in front of TV or reading and eating or in front of gadgets or with your phone. And that's why. So as a registered holistic nutritionist, I'm always fighting with my patients, telling them eat without a phone, without a book, without gadgets, without TV. And why is that? Because when you eat in front of TV or gadget, you are eating from 20 to 35% more food than you're supposed to eat. Guess what? 20 to 35% more food. Welcome extra pounds. So I have a lot of moms that are telling me, but Diana, my child eats only in front of TV with some cartoons. You know what my answer is? Maybe it's time for you to start to communicate with your child. And when you sit down at the table to actually eat, maybe make us a habit. Let's, let's talk together. And then your child will be interested in you and eating, not the TV. And the last one for today, number seven, is avoiding using deodorant that has aluminum. And we all know that and we all talk about that. Nobody is doing. Why? So why is this so bad to use the deodorant that contains aluminum salts? Aside from direct harm and the absorption of aluminum into bloodstream and lymph, which can have irreversible consequences, those deodorants block the sweat gland and disrupt the detoxification process. So basically, our body has numerous ways of detoxification. One of it is sweat. Now imagine the sweat glands wants to kick out all the toxin. And here you put something and say, hey, no, 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 stay there because I want to smell nice. First of all, if you smell bad, you have a problem, book a consultation. You should not smell that. This is a problem. But then you block all that. And then you end up having all those toxins in your body because they have nowhere to go. So be careful. Switch your deodorant. Again, I'm going to have a list, full list on my Instagram of good deodorant that you can use. So make sure to subscribe and follow my Instagram. So this was the deal for today. If you like this video, please comment and subscribe, send it to your friends. Maybe you can save someone. Why not? You know, there's a lot of things in this life that we can change slowly and improve our health. So this was Diana, your registered holistic nutritionist. See you in the next video. Bye.